Hello guys and welcome to another episode of this FIFA 16 career mode with Manchester United and yes I am doing these pretty much daily now just to get ready for the Euros which is in a couple of months time I want to get this done in time so we can actually play the Euros as the happening or as close as possible to that so this opening game is a Capital One Cup game, third round I believe against Sunderland, another Premier League team. Manchester United only seem to get drawn against Premier League teams in these cup competitions. Sunderland, Defoe, girl of Defoe, and that Kasri is pretty good as well, and Larson. They've got some good players, Sunderland. Just about survived the drop though. At Newcastle's expense. They would have loved that in Sunderland. Newcastle going down and them just about surviving in the Premier League. Newcastle relegated again for the second time in their Premier League history. Bit of an awkward cutaway there, again. first chance not the best one half a chance needed saving from a no at the near post though down low that next chance is cleared off the line nearly worked in a goal from the corner there don't score many from corners I'm looking at the abbreviations there it says Mun and Sun it's like Pokemon Sun and Moon it's kind of Manchester United and Sunderland, the abbreviations in the top left hand corner. Mun and Sun. Pokemon Mun and Sun. That was my attempt at a Japanese accent. Didn't intend for it to sound racist. So. I love the Japanese people, I think they're brilliant. Obviously, Sony, I'm a big Sony fan. Pokemon Dragon Ball Z. Of it and sushi. It's great save by not Manoni again. Getting off uh, topic there a bit. Should get back to the football. As you can see there, the Capital One Cup, the the trophy itself, the cup itself. Pereira. Oh yeah, I've started some of the younger players again, like Lingard, Pereira, Goss, and Rothwell. Uh, Johnston in goal again. I want to get my uh, Fosu men's players again. Adnan Yanazai. Just uh, give the first team a bit of a rest, a bit of a break, and get some of the, the younger reserve players some time on the pitch. Rashford starts. Goss. And both with Jackson as well. It's finally, the end of the Premier League season yesterday, we United beating Bournemouth 3 1. I was very disappointed to see the crowd singing what they were singing when Louis van Gaal was giving his speech. That was very disrespectful. And although he hasn't done very well, I don't think he deserved that. And I was disappointed that De Gea didn't get the Golden Glove or share the Golden Glove with Petr Cech as Chris Smalling got that own goal. He couldn't do anything about it but as Yanis always smashes one into the back of the net just before half time, right on the stroke of half time. 45 minutes gone, Yanis I just drifts into the box, avoids a the challenge there and smashed it past Manolo who's actually been really good in this game so far I think he actually clips his arm as well there on the way through not enough to keep it out Adnan Yanazai I think that's his first goal for the, for the club as well well under me as manager I mean first goal this season
John O'Shea, former United. Is West Brown playing as well? West Brown, Champions League winner. He played well that season, though, at right back, I thought. Replacing the injured Gary Neville. United fans in good voice. I can't believe they went to the stadium was yesterday as well. I know it was rearranged on a Tuesday night, but we still had over 50,000, but it was empty in terms of Old Trafford in comparison to what it normally is. Some of the first half highlights, I don't normally show these, but I just wanted to show them again. Sam Johnston had to make a save as well. He's been a good goalkeeper so far, he has. He's looked pretty good. And then I made a few saves as well. Federici made a few good saves last night as well. Bournemouth's goalkeeper. I thought that was in there. Jack Rudderwell. Obviously he used to play for Man City as well. Didn't work out for him, he was hardly used. Same as that uh, Garcia. I don't think Delph and Sterling have been used that much either. I haven't seen much of Sammy Nasser this season either. I think he's been injured though. He's actually very good on this game. Nasri. Half of the Man City team, of course, played for Arsenal as well. God, we cliche, Nasri. So many former Arsenal players that have gone to Man City. Awesome Wenger kept sending his players. And they still managed to finish second above Tottenham Hotspur this season. Tottenham Hotspur have managed to finish third in the two horse race. I prefer Tottenham to Arsenal, but they're both brilliant sides. They're both really good teams. I'm glad that it came to Leicester and Tottenham to win the league though. Two first time winners it would have been. And Leicester winning it for the first time in their history. It's good to see, it's refreshing for the league as well. To show that Leicester can do it on a shoestring budget with hardly any money at all. That was a bad header straight to the goalkeeper. Leicester have won the Premier League in this day and age where money is a massive influence. Leicester have done it with basically no money and they was only promoted like a year or two ago to the Premier League as well Jamie Vardy what a story that was he was playing conference football a few years ago as well and now he's just got set a record for goals scored in the Premier League 12 games in a row beating Ruud van Nistelrooy's record with a team like Leicester I heard Yesterday, in the last two seasons, the commentator in the United game said that Leicester have won. No, Leicester have only lost four games in their last 47 Premier League games. So they've only lost four times out of 47 games since last season. Well, the last half of last season. The second half of last season. And there was at the bottom of the league this time last year as well but they've just avoided relegation and since then they've only lost four times which is unbelievable Claudio Ranieri's really turned it around and he's got an amazing scout on his hands if they can keep the players and they've got European football next season as well which is fantastic for them we haven't even got Champions League football next season Half time there, Sam Johnston stretching, cheering a little bit. United fans in an uproar, really. It's the most animated that they get at Old Trafford these days. It makes me laugh when people say that United haven't got any fans in Manchester. There's 76,000 people there pretty much every week. 
or every time we play at home 76,000 people and if you go to a match at Old Trafford you hear a lot of Mancunian accents so unless you've actually been to Old Trafford and heard it for yourself then I don't see why you're commenting on it to be honest because there is a lot of Mancunian fans at Old Trafford on a match day although a lot of them won't go to matches anymore they go to FC United of Manchester instead but they still go to the away games for Manchester United that's because of the Glazers and the formed FC United of Manchester but we've got 76,000 people and a lot of them are Mancunian if you go there you can see for yourself I've been to Old Trafford and I've heard it so And it's either the only goal of the game so far. I don't remember that chance, Rothwell. Oh yeah, it was beginning of the second half, wasn't it? No? I don't know when that was then. Sunderland had a few chances here. Good save by Johnston again. They wouldn't wear green. You need to be able to change the goalkeeper tops as well. They're wearing green and my goalkeeper's wearing green. It just wouldn't happen. That's Sunday League level football. They change it even in Sunday League. Clashing with the goalkeeper shirt. You've got a change of goalkeeper shirt as well. That's finished. I don't even remember the second half to that game. Was it even in there? Johnston's got Mano match and he's made five saves. Sam Johnston. That's Mano and Ace could have made more saves than that. Surely. Mano and Ace made lots of saves. So yeah, he's made six saves. Arsenal win, Man City win, Spurs win, Everton drew, Everton 1-2-1 one, one, it says there, uh, must have gone from penalties or something. We jump straight into the second game against Crystal Palace away at Selhurst Park. This is in the Premier League as well. Yedinak, Hangeland, Wilfred Zaha, Joe Ledley. Joe Ledley, didn't he play for Swansea? Something. Sacco is a good player, Shamak and Adabil. It's not a bad team. Recycled players though. Adabil was played everywhere, scored everywhere. Back to a more familiar team for us as well. Still only conceded two goals in the Premier League. Newcastle only conceded seven. I don't think so. <laughs> it would be where they are if they had. Well, they wouldn't have been relegated if it was that good. Not conceding goals. And here's the kickoff. It's going to be Manchester United versus Crystal Palace. I'm not sure where they are in the table. It didn't show it just. Might look like a foul. Oh, it is a foul. See if we can get anything from this free kick. We can work it into the box. Michael Carrick, captain today, in, even if it's a Premier League match, decided to rest a few players again. Because it's getting to that time where there's a lot of fixtures to be played, a lot of games coming fast. Valencia steps over. 
current gives it a Herrera. Herrera's does a bad pass. So I don't see why it stopped the play there. Crystal Palace had the ball, they could have played on. Matter, oh it's a good effort. Lucky one. Oh, Danny Williams have done well to win it back there. Oh, we should have passed it earlier. Square. It's another all could cut, to be honest. Ledley. It's a wide boy, Danny Blind. Hits you at knack, though. I had the ball, I could have played on. Stop stopping the play. It's really annoying this game sometimes. Well, most of the time. I don't even know why I buy it half the time, to be honest. That should be a penalty. It's no, it's a penalty. Wilfred Zaha on Adnan Yanazai. I think he's a bit frustrated because he stole his place at Manchester United. He took his place at Manchester United. And Mata, that's a nice penalty. I think that's the nicest penalty I've seen. It's better than Rooney's penalties. No, it wasn't. It was pretty much in the middle, but it still looked a lot more powerful than Rooney's penalties were. Oh yeah, I've rested Rooney in this. That's why Michael Carrick's the captain. I put one matter in that attacking midfield role behind Anthony Martial. Blind just decked him and he <laughs> knocked him out as well. I don't know, I wasn't given a foul there. Normally there's uh, fouls for that sort of thing against Man United players. He's just closed line two players and took him out. Blind on the ball again. Oh, that's a bad pass. Jedinak gets it, keeps it in. Zaha to Shamak. Jedinak. Ward. Is that Ward Prowse? I don't think it is. Hangland, McCarthy. Square. L2, circle. Ward. The other side is penalised for a foul. I thought he got the ball cleanly there. Just used his strength, which the other side is not known for, but he did. Get it away. Carrick's back there to mop it up. Sweeps it away. Lind gives it to Rojo, Lingard has it on the far side, and that's another foul. Oh, Crystal Palace are getting some uh, nasty tackles in. It's going to be a yellow card, I think, yeah. Oh, it's square, eh? Not square. <laughs> the accent over the E. Good win by Marcus Rowe right there. I need to score a second goal. I'm not going to score it in this half, it's half time. Travelling United fans. And this is the ground with the infamous Cantona Kung Fu kick. Selhurst Park, 1996, I think. 1995 or 1996. Cantona is banned for eight months for kicking a fan. Can't blame him really. If someone was chanting stuff at me, I'd probably want to kick him as well. Especially when there's a few thousand people doing it. Good save by McCarthy. 
not the best shot from Valencia, not the best area or position on the pitch, but he needed saving at the, far, at the near post again. And that is terrible defending, I'm not sure what happened there. I got up the other end and just scored. And that was pretty much out of nothing as well. Smalling's out of position, he's in right back position for some reason, and he's the best chance of dealing with the cross. Rojo's made very little effort to get the ball away, and Daly Blin's not even attempted to go for it. I thought Marcus Rojo had it. It's only his second goal in the league. I'm not happy with that, I don't like conceding goals like that when the defence were absolutely nowhere. Marshall nearly made it 2 1. Straight away, there's a good save by McCarthy again. Oh, come on, oh, that's not a bad effort from Valencia. Could have turned before he shot though instead of turning in one movement. Valencia to whip it back in. Desperately trying to get another goal now because that's annoyed me that goal to be honest, conceding like that. And Chris Smalling out of position. Rojo comes across and does very little. And Blind well, he wasn't even close to it. Anthony Martial. I thought that was the final whistle. I don't think he should have blown there to be honest. Depp De Gea is not happy. Should have won the Golden Glove yesterday. That was a rubbish goal to concede as well, especially late on against Bournemouth last night. Not the 89th minute. And it was an own goal, and it cost him the golden glove as well. So he's going to be kicking himself. He's also said if Lou Van Hal's there next season, he'll want to leave. So I know who I'd prefer to stay next season. David De Gea. I want David De Gea to stay, but apparently he wants to leave if Lou Van Hal's there still. That's full time against Crystal Palace, 1-1, one, one. disappointing, two points lost there definitely, we should have won that game comfortably. Definitely two points dropped, but I'd rather drop points against teams like Crystal Palace because they will be in the mid middle of the table, I'd rather, I'd rather lose points to them than the big teams because Man City, if Man City beat us or we draw against Man City, that could cost us more because we're fighting for the same sort of positions in the league whereas Crystal Palace aren't so it won't really be that bad it won't affect us that much there's still two points lost though I think Arsenal can close the gap a little bit now as well there's a soft goal to concede that's the worst part Oh, it's Pape Sore, not Square. It's not even a cue to know. <laughs> Pape Sore, I thought it was Square. Alright, that's all for this episode then, guys. Um, thank you very much for watching it. I hope you're enjoying this series so far. Just looking over a few of the stats here. I don't know, I've got man on out of McCarthy, obviously. Yeah, he did play well. He kept them, he basically earned them a point, McCarthy, their goalkeeper. Yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this episode as well. Uh, hope you tune in to watch the next one. There will be pretty much daily now. So take care, and I'll see you next time. Well, I won't see you, but take care, and goodbye.